praise the Lord. My name is Clinton Miner, and I am glad this morning to uh, bring the, to you the word of God uh, through the theme and entitled uh, Returning to the Worship of God. Um, so I don't know why the Lord chose me to uh, speak about this topic, your worship to God, but uh, as you go by, I'll I would like to think that uh, the Lord will minister to you, that I believe that the Lord will use me to speak to you in, in whichever manner that you will understand. And I pray that this morning, even as, as we start with this devotion, that your day will be, uh, will, will, will be a day to, to think about the things that we are talking about. It will be a day to think uh, about what is the Lord telling me. It will be a day to think about uh, what really is the Holy Spirit speaking to me uh, this morning. And so I'd like us to start off uh, by knowing uh, what really is worship. What are we talking about when you're when you're talking when, when you're saying returning your worship to God? And I'd like to define the word worship um, and I'll use different definitions. For example, uh, the dictionary definition, which says that uh, worship is the devotion accorded to a deity or a sacred object. Uh, and now, in this case, a deity is like a god, like a god, a religious or a, a religious practice or you do or anything religious. Let's let's say. Uh, so now, uh, when you talk about the the true kind of worship. We're talking about now worshiping God. We're talking about um, returning everything to God. We're talking about returning uh, our time, returning our 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 emotions, returning our our whatever you think, whatever you think that you, is returnable to God. That is what we're talking about tonight, uh, this morning. So. Um, First things, uh, first, first things first, I want us to talk about uh, and, and to reflect about these things that the Lord is telling us. Uh, and the first thing you're going to talk about is this time, th this period of Corona. You know, this period of Corona, we had a lot of free time. We had, uh, we, t we, we were at home to Lembiwa and Anyumbani. Uh -huh. You don't come, no, don't, don't come back to church. Uh -huh. So go back, go, go, go at home, sleep, spend your time with your family. To kick your curfews, samoja, unakimishana uku na polisi. I mean, all these bizarre things that you will think about, things that are unge if kiriya zinge happen, but it really happened. Uku samoja unge kimishana tu uvo na polisi, and everybody was just everywhere and so confused and so and. Having a lot of thoughts, when will this thing end? When will this thing happen? It is Shalini to to go back to our normal days, you know, such things. Um, and I remember during that time, me, f for example, me, I was very idle. By the way, my my work was watching, waking up, watching movies, uh, sleeping, eating, getting fat. I was fatter than the way I am, just so you know, and uh, it was really a nice experience to stay at home. I did not, I did not have such such free time in my life and during that those times i was like ah i have a nasoma bible kesho eh nita relax kesho i need to nita nita omba kesho like atasubun kiamka niko na time nita omba tu bado eh and slowly by slowly it it became a a process it became it, it became an addiction to watch the movies it became addiction to sleep it became even addiction to eat and it was, it, it looked very silly, just silly things. Eh? As, you, as you progress, it becomes something very, pam something very difficult. Now, what you're calling addictions. And, uh, and uh, as I was reading this, uh, this uh, theme verse, which is uh, Jeremiah 2, 2 uh, which says, I want to read it from the uh, New, Trans New Living Translation, which says, Go and shout this message to Jerusalem. This is what the Lord says. I remember how eager you were to please me as a young bride long ago. How you loved me and followed me even through the barren wilderness. And I was trying to put myself in God's shoes. Okay, I know that these shoes are holy and very big. I can't fit on them. But just just picture it. Just picture it. Uko uh, hapo. And... You're not God. You're speaking and you're, you're, tell, you're, and you're, you're telling your people. Uh, I remember how eager you were to please me as a young bride long ago. The message says, uh, it uh, puts it very clearly that, uh, that I remember your youthful loyalty. 
our love as newlyweds. I don't know. May, I, I don't picture it. That uh, when you are married, okay, I'm not married, but those people who are married, they will say, they, they will tell you that, ah, ikianza, inaunga tamu. Like, wana maskanga uri kuchiyo na kuambia, ii, mnamuka asubi, unambia good morning. Good morning. Akile mta kutu. And they are smiling to each other because the the love is, inaunga moto hivi. It's blazing. Eh? And I remember now, I was thinking, now the Lord telling us, that I remember, ah, uh, your, your youthful loyalty. Yeah? Youthful loyalty. Like, that's how, Mkutu wapo, you are loyal, mkuja church Sunday, kila Sunday uko wapo, Monday prayers uko wapo, Wednesday service uko wapo, Friday, ah, OBS, unajua, adi unajua the next, uh, the next chapter itakuwa nini, because you are so, yu moto ilikuwa, eh, that, that, that loyalty that, that you had to God, ilikuwa, and, and I was thinking about it, and, and, uh, and I was thinking maybe, how, how God, how was God feeling when he was, th- when he was talking about this, like how, how, how was, how, what was his emo- what was his emotion like i kind of feel was he sad see, seeing this like i i remember I, I, i remember how you guy you to please me and i'll feel as if god alikuwa na kama na ka uchungu tu nakumbuka tu like and i feel uchungu nakumbuka tu ni kama for example unaongelesha bisti yako una like haki nakumbuka tu zile siku za nilikuwa naenda church eh nilikuwa naenda tuna worship tunalia huko tunapiga magoti and i remember that when god was telling uh, when god was speaking to his people in Je- in, the, in in this uh, verse Jer- uh, in jeremiah 22 like he he was telling these people with a lot of uh, what, what is the right word to use a lot of eagerness a lot of a lot of pain a lot of um, wanting yes a lot of wanting he just wanted he like he just wanted it he he missed it he longed for it um and uh and uh no no like those times then you look naenda huko hivyo ulikuwa naenda ulikuwa umeokoka for example let me give an example like you know born again umeokoka leo and you're saying that the lord uh, i will give myself to to god i am I, I I am free from all the bondages I am free from all the addictions I am free from all the the the, the condemnation from other people from myself and you're just there and you're like yes lord I want to dedicate my life to you I want to devote my life my life to you and you're just there thinking and with a lot of fire now I remember uh, as it continues it says how you loved me and followed me through ev- even through the barren wilderness like hata kungenyesha hiyo siku ukienda church hata kungenyesha aje leo kungekuwa tu hapo tu kani hata ungesahau mavuli afadhali tu nyeshe ndio afadhali tu ukuja tu church and it was such a beautiful thing if you remember it i know you can you can picture it if you remember it it was such a beautiful thing uh, to fellowship with god like uh, at that particular moment to fellowship to to love him to know him to read the to wake up every morning to read the word of god to go out there to speak uh, to other people and be there and god anakupenda and you are, you had so much so much inside of you before now before this corona or before that or, or at, at that time that you were born again and and slowly by slowly uh, you know the devil works in very uh, different ways and uh, we are told in john in John that he comes to kill steal and destroy and at that but in that corona period the devil did all that he came and killed your spiritual life he came and d- stole the intimacy that you had with god such that haungi amka asubuhi kuomba ulikuwa na watch movie hadi saa 9 za asubuhi like ile time ulikuwa unaamka kuomba ilikuwa around 4 you can't wake up so when lalati wana watu ndo amke for like unge ulipoteza that intimacy that you had with god so the devil stole it from you he destroyed it he destroyed what you believed inside of you he destroyed that which you knew about god he destroyed uh he destroyed uh your relationship with god that he he would speak he, he, he that that you mtu angekuambia oh wewe wewe hawe ujokoka and you'll be like no mimi nimekoka by the way na nampenda Yesu and i know and i mean it i mean what i'm saying you know and he did all those things 
and many other, and, and many of us were like were like that at that time but i want you to think about the god when he was speaking about you that he remembers how you loyal you are to him and you know what that is what god really wants that is what god actually wants he wants he wants you back to the devotion that you had with him he wants you back he wants you to give him all that you have which is what you're calling worship he wants you to give your feelings eh uko tu hapo una feeling tu sikia tu nimekasirika leo eh sikia kana za piga mtu and uh, and the lord will speak to and the holy spirit will speak to you and anakuambia hey, relax hakuna haja but the devil stole all that from you you know what this morning you can return it back to christ you can return it back to god and actually he's not even asking for a lot of things really you know he is asking you to come to him to repent first corinthians chapter uh, second corinthians i mean chapter chapter 4 verse 8 um verse 8 and 9 it says let me read it for you Mm, it says that we are pressed on every side by troubles but we are not crushed we are perplexed but not driven to despair verse 9 says we are hunted down but never abandoned by god we get knocked down but we are not destroyed in all that time that tulikuwa tu hapo tu kwa nyumba 2020 uh to keep out of all those b- bazaar things that we used to do you know the r- lord reminds us that even in all those times that we we were crushed yes uh, we were pressed on every side yes but we were not crushed but that there is there i- is still a chance for you to come back to god and tell him god i have done this and this i watched upon Lord I lied to my mom like every day hata kama ulikuwa unamtakanya tu kimwambia unaamka na waamki you know like God I have they look very small small things but he really says to you you are not yet done you're not crushed and you can come back to him you know uh I, for example I I used to do my devotions in the morning <laughs> I used to wake up uh okay I'm not an early p- a morning person but I used to wake up at around 6 6:30 mostly it was 7 ndio nilikuwa sana wa kutanda sasa and I used to wake up and nakuja hapo na catch na niambia god eh leo nataka kufanya at least one chapter one chapter then uh, I don't know what happened na na kwa fikira by this Jamaliza series episode flani I need to 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 finish it and uh, na vile kwa watch movies slowly by slowly ato join time ike na especially series no chingi hivi episode 1 2 3 you join na fikon like haya nilikuwa nisome scripture moja and at that particular moment you know nilikuwa na feel i used to feel so bad about myself i used to condemn to condemn myself and feel guilty like god sa god leo 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 sijafanya kitu yote leo hata sija fellowship na wewe and it looked like a normal thing i i thought to myself that i had a lot of time I had a, a lot of time and uh, slowly by slowly it we- it weighed me down the guilt weigh- weighed me down and una feel to hey guy i need something else i need an extra like una 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 something else to to help you uh to overcome the guilt eh unaenda huko una hang out with rafik yuko muna fanya kama unafanya then unaenda huko una like you do all the sort of things but then again the lord always comes back to you and uh, and tells you uh, i want to read this scripture so, so that i can be able to uh, proceed without I'm, i'm talking about which is in matthew matthew 3:8 um it says we it, it talks about uh, it, it's the story of john the baptist and how he was tell, how he was, tell, how he was, teach, he was, he was teaching his, the people about repenting and it tells these people that repent your sins and when you have repented um, prove by the way you live 
you know that time when i was feeling guilty and i was feeling so sad inside of my heart i used to go to god and i was i would cry machozi okay when i'm to nambianga tunalianga blanket tv and yeah i did that it's true and nika na na blanket tuni ko tu hapo na lia and ask god please god just revive me again just uh bring me back to you give me give me a second chance give me another time and actually he did and when you repent to him you start doing it by the way you live you start you start waking up forcing yourself to am unaamka ata kama utaki because this body it wants what it wants but you know what you have to do you know and uh, i was reading something uh, the other day and it talks, it talks about discipline and discipline uh, it says that uh, do what you hate do what you hate doing and when you do it uh, like uh, and, and when you do it do it like you like uh, do it like you like it is it making sense yes do what you hate doing and but when you do it do it like you like it so and that was a discipline to me like una mka ata kama upendi ataka utaki ataka unasikia muli iko tu huko hautaki kuamka but you still wake up so because you know what you want you want to prove this thing you want to you want to to ignite that fire that 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 uh, you had lost again and you start doing those simple things that you used to do for me the sp- the simple things that i used to do was um reading the word of god i used to do a chapter like a a chapter a day in the evening because i like reading the word in the evening so that when i go to sleep i will i will i will sl- uh, when, when i go to sleep i will i will go ha- i'll go and think about it and meditate about it you know such things and um slowly by slowly after i have started making uh, and doing these devotions to myself after i've started um uh, doing these basics these are what i call my basics uh, reading the word of god praying in the morning when i wake up joining in fellowship uh, joining uh, in fellowship with believers and those other things that to me they seemed to be pleasing god you know and uh i did all that i did all that i woke up in the morning I started I I ignited my fire again. I started reading the word of God. I started understanding God. And slowly by slowly the Holy Spirit started speaking to me and he he started communicating to me with the language that I I can understand. You know, the Lord speaks to us uniquely in different in different ways. And you know, for me it was that. For me my basic was that. My basic was reading the word of God. And I don't know about you. Maybe your basic was um going uh um, going to fellowship with other believers confessing your sins uh, to other believers maybe that was your basic and that is what kept you going and that is what uh st- made you to stand firm you know so uh in all these things um uh, i want us to uh, i want uh, i want to caution all of us that you know this is what maybe the lord is told is, t- is talking to you this this morning that when you go back to the basics when you go back to the things that god uh that pleased god the things that were very simple to you the things that you were able to do the things that were at your own capability that you did those are the things that god uh says that you are supposed to turn back to that you're supposed to go back to the basics and that is what the lord wants you to do to this morning and it doesn't matter if you feel as if i am the worst person ever if you feel as if you're the guiltiest person ever if there's such a word and it doesn't matter if there is, there is nothing else uh, that, that that you feel so persecuted inside yourself and you feel so condemned it doesn't matter what other people are saying it doesn't matter if you feel as if you're too far gone but the lord is telling to you go back to the basics repent your sins to him confess your sins to one another that when you do that you start proving it by the way you live by going back to the basics. So in all this the Lord will surely uh send you a helper to do that. And uh, you know you'll feel as if uh this is too hard for me to do and you'll feel as if uh, I am unable to do this and that. But you know what? He has already sent us a helper. And our helper is the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit, he is inside of us. He is around us. He is in us to do that which the lord has told us to do that which the lord has put inside our hearts to do that which the lord which we are being taught every sunday in church to put it in practice that the lord has already given us a helper to do 
to do this and it doesn't ha- it doesn't matter how you feel or how you or how or whatever that you are thinking or hata kama you think it's it's the worst thing you've ever done but confess it to god confess it to god repent your sins just tell him god go when the other silazimo i tell you to go to repeat this after me but you can just go you privately hapo kwa bedroom yako ndani ya blanket privately and you just go to him and tell him lord yenyewe mimi nimefanya hii na hii na hii na hii and i'm ready to return me and my everything to you i am ready to give it all back to you again i'm ready to ignite my fire the one that you have placed inside of me and he will send you his holy spirit you know why because he loves you it doesn't matter he loves you and when you do that all that will be returning that which you had lost to god shall we pray heavenly master we thank you because you are good because you are good and good and good and good even though lord you feel so far gone you are still here with us you still teach us you still speak to us you still um make us new you still build us again you still make us uh the way that you you you, you make us like that vessel and rebuild us again once ag- once god and we asking of you this morning that lord even as we do this even as we return as you confess as we repent as we return all these things that we had lost oh god that you holy spirit you shall be our guide you shall help us from now henceforth that you shall lead us to do that which you desire us to oh lord we thank you father and we glorify your holy name keep us in you father even when we, when we have returned to you sustain us holy spirit and keep us and guide us oh lord in the mighty name of jesus we thank you and we glorify your holy name amen thank you so much for joining me this morning god bless you even as you reflect and think about it let us return to the worship of god baraka Thank you.